I begin to pray in the night. All those things in store. He came to a day. He carried his Bible. He said he's going to Monday. For good seven days, he did not come back home. He stayed there without eating. In the night, me and my sister we carry food to go and meet it on Monday. Say eat. If you see him in that time, very lean. But one thing I cannot forget, the only thing that he used to tell me, he said, brother, pay the price now. So many times when people see him, they will say, ah, the grace of God is upon you. He has passed through many things. Some people will say that, ah, this person, God just bless you. Pastor Debo, he said something. He said, people said, people said that, ah, you are so lucky. He began to explain. He said, do you know the pride? Pastor Debo, he said that he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights did not eat. He did that twice in a month, in a year, 80 days. I'm telling you, the prayer you are praying now, you are not wasting your time. If we get to our next day, Bible says there is an end to everything. There is an end. When you pray to the next end, that obstacle will break up. Even after that, if you don't pray much again, you can't go down again. Bible says there is an end to that thing. But you must pray. You must pray. Can you raise up your head towards the heaven? Nobody you see on net making it in life. Either the spirit of the devil is backing me up, or the spirit of God is backing me up. You are going to tell it unto the Lord. The Father. Say, Father. Say, Father, help me to pay the price to make it in life. Praise the Lord. Do you understand that prayer point that I just made? The price is not easy. Do you know the price that Jesus paid? He was crying. But there is a need to every trouble. There is a net to every delay. If someone is ready to pay the price, nobody rising a day, they start from somewhere. One man of God, divine greatness. He said, when I'm talking about greatness, greatness is small by small, small plus small plus small plus small. So it's called to greatness. Can you say, Father, help me, O oh Lord, to pay the price. For me to fulfill my destiny, can you turn into prayer? Turn into prayer. Help me to pay the price. Help me to pay the price. See, if you sit down like that, if you don't pay the price, your life will remain like that. Many people are 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old. 50 years old, there's no changes. No. Bible said there is a name. There is a name. To that thing you are facing, it can change your life. Help me to pray more. Help me to pray for my children. Help me to pray for my destiny. Help me to pray the price. Rataka basa belekata baba shata. Let us pray this prayer like this. So many times. If God wanted to make you to pray, continue in prayer, what he does, he will encounter you. That encounter will give you strength to go in that journey of prayer. You are going to tell you unto the Lord. Say, Father, 
visit my life and change my life. Visit my life and change my life. Turn it to prayer now. Visit my life. Visit my life, O Lord. Visit my life, O Lord. You visit the life of Daniel. His life changes. You visit the life of Joseph. His life changes. Joseph, I counter you. Moses, I counter you with the burning bush. His life changes. God, I visit my life, O Lord. Visit my life, O Lord. Visit my life, O Lord. And change my life. Visit my life and change my life. Visit my life and change my life. Visit my life and change my life. Visit my life, O Lord. O Lord, be a year, O Lord. This is my life, O Lord, and change my life. I need your visitation, O Lord. days but your flesh will be crying at the end of the day you cannot complete that seven days you go back Bible says fresh profit and nothing the destination of fresh is destruction he said as many that are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God many of us you want to pray continue in prayer but it gets to an instant, your strength restrained back. You cannot continue because you are still controlled by flesh. You are going to tell you to say, Father, Father, Father. Grant, me grace. grant me grace. Grant me grace. Grant me grace to overcome flesh. To overcome flesh. 
to overcome flesh. Grace will pray without ceasing. Grace will pay the price. Grace will pray without ceasing. Release upon my life now, Lord. Can you turn me to prayer? Grace to rise above flesh. Grace will rise above flesh. Grace will rise above flesh. That no one will tell you should fast before you will fast. You will embark in prayer. You will be praying. You will not stop praying. Grace, there is a grace. There is a grace that has come upon you. That will make you to rise above flesh. That will make you to rise above flesh. Grace, to rise above flesh. To be sensitive in the spirit.
a man. You know? God began to show me many things before I came here. And I saw, Zion believer, I saw many people. They carry great destiny. Great one. Great one. But they need epa. They need epa. They need epa. They need God seriously. There is an apostle in our midst. Evangelist in our midst. Gospel singer globally in our midst. I saw them. They are much. Zion believer. See, people that are there, they are the glory of God. They carry glory. That is why if you are one of the members of Zion believer, any gift of God in your life, don't realize this. Don't realize it. Say, Father, help me to fulfill your purpose. Help me. You know God's purpose for your life. You know, you know. It's only that can help you. If God speaks to you that you need to fast for seven days, obey Him. If God speaks to you, stop those immorality. Stop sinning. Stop that kind of life. And let me start with you in that journey. It is time to surrender. Your destiny is so great, so bright. It's greater than what you are seeing now. It's greater than what you are seeing now. Help me, Father. Help me pray that prayer. Help me to fulfill your will. My helper. My helper. My helper. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It's only you that can help us. Only you, Father. Father, we come before you. We cry. We look into your face. Seeking for help. You are helper, Holy Ghost. We are looking to your face. Let that grace to fulfill our purpose.
us. Let it come upon 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 us. Grace to fulfill that purpose. Many of us, God has shown you where you are going to, what you will be called. That grace that will help you at night to fulfill it. Let it come upon us. Let it come upon us. Father, I decree, I declare by the name of Jesus. As many that are in your presence now, from now and for to long, appear to them in Jesus' name. Appear to them in Jesus' name. Personal encounter in Jesus' name. Your vision will be clear to you. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I'm no longer a slave.
power will contend against power only those that know their God I tell you only those that know their God will not see anything some people will excel mightily and those that don't know their God they will weep and continue to weep up how do you see people weeping presently how do you see the hardship in the town in the nation only those that know their God but God says that those that know their God those that invest in God God will be their source God will be their sustainer and God will be their provider and they will not put to shame can you sing that song once again Hosanna Hosanna everlasting father for in jesus mighty name we pray can we have our seats praise the lord praise the living jesus brethren please the season we are now is the season that we need to invest investment this season that we need to invest we are going to pray today we do more of prayer we do more of prayer but i will just i will just encourage us to pray we need to do what the season we have now please i beg you in the name of the lord invest at this hour this season is a season for you to invest Daddy invest, mommy invest, sister and brothers invest. Invest in your spiritual life. Invest in your in your journey with God. Please invest. Invest. The season we have 2024 next year. Only those that know their God. There are a lot of people today, presently now, that they are suffering and suffering. Some could not even have just food to eat. This is not a matter of savings. Just to see food to eat in the morning, afternoon, and night. They don't, they don't have. But 2024, what you are seeing now is just a, a, reflector of, a, a, a reflection of what will happen in next year. But only those that know their God. I tell you, if you invest in God, if you take your time to invest in God now, 2024, when others are crying, when others are weeping, when others are weeping, then you'll be doing what you'll be rejoicing because it will not be your year of harvest. This is the time that you need to gather all your seed. 
as you have gathered all your seed, you know the seed that you should. It's just like a farmer. A farmer that will cultivate at the end of the season, he will go and harvest all his seed. Now, any farmer that harvests all his seed and eats everything, that means in the next year, next year, he will not have anything to plant. Go and go and ask, ask farmer, the real farmer, when they harvest their seed, there are some of the seed that they will set apart. Like yam now, some of them will cut all the head of the yam, they will keep it somewhere. Even corn, they will gather some corn, they will keep it somewhere, allow it to dry. During the time of planting, during the time of planting, they will go and gather those seeds, they will go and plant it. That head of the yam, they will go and gather it during the season of planting, they will plant it. After they plant it, they will not rest and know that a time will come that they will harvest again. Every man that wants to succeed in 2024, this next year, must be a man that do what? That invest. I don't know why I'm saying this, but it's just ringing in my heart. So that believers, so that believers, you will not find yourself in the middle where you will be kind. God, help me. It will look, God is not the wicked God. No. It's God that giving up principle, a guideline to follow, so that we will not lack. But it is only when you did not follow it, when you refuse to follow it. Please, 2020. Now, don't wait until 2024 before you will start planting. Don't wait till 2024. Start the planting now. Start it now. So that next year, you will begin to harvest. I pray. I pray in the name that is above every other name. We will not lack anything in the name of Jesus. All our needs will be supplied. Will be supplied by God in the name of Jesus. When others are cast, when others are crying for casting, that we, we, God, will establish us and uplift us in the name of Jesus. So quickly, let's look into the Word of God. Then from there, we will do what we will now pray. Please take time. You invest. Invest in your children. Last week, thank you. Last week we talked about the the five kind of people we should be aware of. Five kind of people we should be aware of. That in our journey in life, in our journey in life, we need men, we need men to succeed here on earth. But in our journey in life, that we gave some certain set of people that we are going to meet in our journey in life. And I said that you, you should be aware of those people because they are capable, those set of people, they are capable to destroy your destiny. They don't have where to go, but they want to scatter your own journey. That we should be aware of it. No any man, no man win Olympics that listen to those set of people. If you see any man that is running a race of competition and and listen to what people are saying by the side, you have you see any, have you seen any man that running a race? Maybe there is a race, there is a race that is running to a race for a world, and some certain people by the side they were not asking him, tell you why do you do run like this? The man will not stop. If the man stop the race and go and listen to them, what will happen? The man will lose. So you don't, need, you don't need to listen to those. There are some set of people that they are just meant to pull you down. The first set of people we talk about is wicked people. Last week, I'm just doing a recap of what we discussed last week. I said the first set of people is a wicked people. We all know wicked people. Wicked people, and I said, wicked people, they are set of people. Before, the, before their plan, they know the outcome of that plan from the beginning to the end don't have conscience their conscience has died they don't have conscience they can kill in order for them to achieve their interest they don't believe in god and the second set of people we talked about last week they are they are difficult and quarrelsome people difficult difficult 
or quarrel some people. Those people that can quarrel, those people that are difficult, they are difficult in every area. There's nothing you can do to please them. In as much that what you are saying, there is what you are saying, there's nothing that will benefit them. They will not listen to you. And some of them, like I said, I said some of them were talent, some of them are talented. They have the gift of God. They have the gift, they are talented, you know, but because of the kind of person they are, they are so difficult. And if care is not taken, they will do us. They can they can destroy the, our journey. The third set of people that I talk about is selfish people. Selfish. Selfish people. Selfish people, they are those people that think they put themselves alone. They are all after about themselves. If that thing, if their own interest is not captured in, in whatever you are placing before them, they will not buy to it. They are selfish people. They are they always think about the and do you know the worst part of it? These selfish people, eh, they are not a bad person, you know. Selfish people, they are not, they are not really bad person like that. They are not capable, they may not be abalists, they may not be all those evil people that you are seeing. But there is this part of them, this selfishness. And they only they only think about the beginning and what they will achieve, but they don't think about the end point of that action. Like I said. They may not know that that thing can lead, lead to death. They may not know that that thing can lead to death. And you will see some of them because of the selfish. Like I gave example, if two, maybe two men bring business together, they contribute money to start business. In doing that business because of the self-interest, selfishness, and the particular person may look, ah, so all this money, the money that's supposed to share 50-50, 50-50%, ah, if I can get the old, all this money. Selfish people, they do calculate other people's things to their own they will say that ah if if i can get this if i can get that and this one they will not begin they will hire some of their friends they will hire assassin please go and help me kidnap this person but don't kill the person you no know? don't kill him or just kidnap the person and in the process those people can kill in the process they can kill they can destroy at the end of the day they will not regret a biblical example is what that i gave last week is judas Judas is not a wicked person. Judas is not a difficult person. Judas is just a selfish person. Selfish person. Because he thought that he can just go ahead and collect the money. On, 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 collect the money. And if those people came, if Francis people came, if they come, and once they arrest Jesus Christ, he was thinking that if they arrest Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will fight and escape. So that once Jesus Christ escape, uh -huh, you still become the Lord, and uh, you just want to use that opportunity to collect the money. But you, we see what end Judas. At the end of the day, what happened to him? He returned the money. See, selfish people at the end of the day they will regret of their action. He returned the money, but it's or and the first set of people that I talk about, I did not really explain much about this. So we are going to start from here today. This first set of people, they are foolish people foolish people and another word for that one is naive people naive i said naive people what is the meaning of naive what do we what do what do i mean by saying naive people people that lack understanding people that lack understanding they are not bad people they are not wicked people they are not selfish people but they are just naive they don't know anything and they they, they 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 are full of joy and this set of people they can come see the same issue the same the same damage that wicked people will cause you these people that you are seen as innocent as these naive people they will cause the same damage to you in your place of destiny they will cause the same damage because this set of people now as i said some of our friends some of our colleagues our children our loved ones they fall into this category of this set of people. They don't know anything. Anything, if you don't know anything about, about organization, don't, don't just go and talk and talk about it because that your statement that you make, it can destroy a lot of things. I gave example last week that there is a particular man, a particular young man. I love this particular young man. 
He's working with me. Even tonight, he's still working with me. But one thing that I notice about him, he fell into this category of people. This set of naive people. It's not a wicked person. Don't miss because it's not that that set of people. They are not, it's not that person is not a wicked people. They are not the wicked people. They are not the selfish people. They are not the bad. Their heart is pure. But they are the lack of knowledge. They don't even though if you tell them, don't do like this today. If you correct them today, don't do this. This is no good though. They will still go and repeat that same thing in another dimension somewhere tomorrow. And those set of people, they can just look at you and it's common among those set of people, it's common among between box and the servants. Now you see a box that God is helping, he has company, he has organization, he's doing well. And you see this particular servant now and with his open heart, he will not go back home. Ah, and among his friends, among those that are born again, those that are not born again, you don't even know them. They can even go to a restaurant where they are eating open place and say, Ah, if you see my boss today, eh, my boss is very, very rich. Oh, ah, oh, no, we're gone. Eh, if you see that one estate that they built over there, if you see one thing that is, ah, even he came with one bag of money to our office today. And as you are talking, you don't know that as you are, you are saying that to present your box that your boss you 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 thought that you are doing your boss good thing you thought that you want those people to see your boss that boss is big man without knowing that you are killing someone you don't know and someone someone eyes somewhere is listening to you as you are talking and you don't know and you don't know that that person is a addict criminal somewhere is listening and he come with the one back up even if you want to account the money he, you know he trusts me so much and and even say, ah, you know now, yes. Even, even as I'm telling you myself, I, I, in the next ten minutes now, that mother will go back to us. I know everything about him. He likes me so much. He loves me. He can trust me with anything. And in the night, you just do your, you 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 just do your foolishness, and you go to your house. And in the night, an innocent man that is sleeping in his house just because God helped him, and someone now knock the door, call, call, call thief enter the house okay you came with one bag so and so, uh, which bag and uh, one bag of money before you know maybe they kill his wife or they kill him and see if what won't come to us and those if the man is arguing i uh, walk back now and say and he says see you better talk so even you see your servant in your office i overheard that you collect the money so so that and see if god want to catch that servant they will collect the money and go they will not kill the, the man and in the next day, the man will enter office. And this fool, he, this fool servant will also come. Hey, good man, sir. And the man will say, let this one be the first and the last that I will see in this office go out. And he will now come say, Oh, go ye jin jami. Oh, go le baba. Want to tell me say, eh, want to tell me say. Who is your go ye baba? There's no go ye anywhere. You, you, your mouth, your mouth. There's no part. There's no evil part anywhere. It's your mouth. Believe me, this set of people, they are everywhere. Foolish people. And see, if you know that you have a destiny, and you know that God is taking you far, please, don't mind those people, no matter how close they are to you. Once you, once you identify them, please put them where they belong to. See, what I'm saying is not this. This is not a matter of... Uh, uh, it's my best friend, it's my this, it's my dad. Because if they know the gravity or the outcome of what they are doing, if they know it, they will have not but they don't know. That is the pain in it, they don't know. And if you stop them now, they will repeat it again and again. Maybe God help you and God give you grace. You have a contact of contact of some of great people. and do you know ah, please any opportunity that God gives to you please don't misuse it any opportunity that God gives to you don't misuse don't misuse it I'm still going to talk about relationship as we are going because part of when God wants to, if God is about to bless your life if God wants to bless you the first thing that God will first give to you is no money it's not cash Part of what God will first give to you 
is ideas ideas and then it will not send relationship it will give you connection it will start introduce you to some set of people you just discover that you meet with one a good friend some people just develop interest in you how, how are you doing how is work and, and those set of people you know that they are people of high high caliber they are not ordinary people when you have such that opportunity don't misuse it a lot of people because you have an opportunity you have the number you have the number of someone god has helped and because of that now any other person just come to you and they are talking and all things i'm saying now they are the part of part of what i learned part of what that i see there was a time where i was working before i was working with all these indian company indian people i work with them i i took my time to study them they will not talk anything before if we go out sometimes we go to it after we walk we go to it we have a meeting we will snap if we snap i will maybe after some days i can just put it on my status on whatsapp glory be to god for today and i discovered and i took nobody there's nobody call my attention but i discovered that this set of people sometimes it them too with snap they are i have them as a friend on my facebook but none of them upload status none of them upload on the status none of them upload on the facebook since that time i now begin to notice only to call my attention that i should i should stop that thing that i should not be uploading their things that if i think there's anyone that i want to upload i should seek for their consent there was a particular there was a now a part there was a particular day there is this man called umesh he's an indian man also they went out and they celebrated everything in their mind he now did a video that video he uploaded it because it's just a group of indian and the owner of the company saw that message do you know when the ceo do not when he came he addressed the issue openly he said that please he called this indian man and, and talked to his head why did you upload this kind of video on the on, on the social media do you want to play on the on on, on the tech of the company don't you know that our competitor will see all the manager in this company and this, uh, before that they will know this one i just sit down and people don't ah, what is it about this thing i was not like that thank god that holy spirit co correct me then no oh, if not maybe i will have also made them the man has sat down he now made us to understand this where i'm saying this is that because there are some times that god will grant you grace you 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 will sit among some people that where where they are discussing business and that particular place you are not supposed to be there but by any reason by connection you find yourself you are there also and when they are doing the discussion you are recording after the record video or, 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 or you do video you do video with that without the concept of that person and before the person gets home another person called the person it has happened to me before we went for a program before I got home. Other people call me and begin to tell me that ah, I show you also program. But those ones is a church program, so there's no nothing bad in it. Therefore, they can upload this. I'm just using it as an example. You see, you can take it and keep it for yourself. But that doesn't know some things that you don't just next day. Do you know the work we end? The, the person will not talk. But if if the person is going for any meeting. That warrant okay. This one is a business meeting. It should be among the manager. It's not what what meant to be open to other people. He will tell you, please wait for me, Zika, and the only person will enter and go and do the meeting and come back. Come out. Foolish people. Please don't let us be. A lot of today, a lot of some people will be saying that I'm calling, calling the master. It's not even picking me. They are busy. They don't want to be. be call you will call them call them it's not that they don't want to pick up because if they pick your call the end the, the the end of that discussion will lead to will lead to what what can destroy their business and sometimes we are not patient enough we are not patient enough i pray that the lord will help us After, after, after the convention, at, that is two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, when we just finished our convention, one of my one of my clients, my, my uh, producer, manufacturer, the, the company that produced for us, he called me that because of the 
increase in dollar and business up or down. He said that let us have a meeting and discuss about the business. He said, okay. We at that time we I said, okay, let us meet. We arranged the meeting as Ikeja. And the guy is a Chinese man. He's a Chinese man. We went for that meeting. After we after I just want to let me just cut the aspect I want to discuss. During that meeting, the Holy Spirit called my attention that this particular Chinese people preach to him. Let him accept Christ. And I told you that, okay, sir, please, I have something to discuss with you. Can you permit me before we continue? And I said, yes. Because even, devil has already tempted myself because before I went, immediately after we finished the convention, after we finished the convention, I was just like, okay, at least let me go and rest. Let me eat and rest. And when I lied, I just saw 21, 21. What is the meaning of that? When I pray, the Lord said I should go for fasting 21 days. Ah, uh, well, glory be it is the next day that this man called me for that appointment. When we go to that place at the Kedja, as usual, each time that we have a meeting like that, they will go and bring lists, lists of food. I think one of our colleagues, Dami, Dami went with me. He, they brought that list, all manner of food. So when he brought that list, when I saw it, I, I said, that, please, for now I cannot eat. He said, what? I said, I don't want to eat for now. He said, why? Why don't you want to eat? Are you hungry? Please now, eat now. Please. I said, no. No, I said, okay. As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm observing fasting. He said, okay, we're observing fasting. I said, yes. He said, okay, okay. So he now said, now, they now brought, I said, you can serve my, my colleagues. Just serve him. Don't, then I asked you, what do you want? They will bring all kinds of food, leave. That's how I used to, even Miss Ola used to go with us. They will bring leaf. They will bring, uh, you will see different type of beef. You will see uh, British beef, Chinese beef, India beef, cow, I'm talking about cow meat, oh. the same cow, but different one. In this Indian one, this Chinese one, all kind of meat, which one you will choose your own. But where am I going? And the Lord said that, I should talk to this man. After I, 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 I talk to, I, I call him, please, can you permit me to just share a, just give me five minutes or three minutes. I will, I will round up within three minutes. Let me just share with you. Say what? I say, just gospel. I want to tell you about Jesus Christ. I said, do you know Jesus Christ? He said, yes, but I'm not a religious person. Oh, you are not a religious person. Okay. I said, please, can you tell me a little bit about that Jesus Christ? He said, eh, you know, even in China, in China, some, some people do talk about Jesus. They said, they said, Jesus is the son of God. And they said, Jesus, if you believe in Jesus, that you, you will make heaven. I said, I said, but do you believe that? He said, mm, I'm not a religious person. I said, okay. I now, I now preach. I just take just two minutes. I just preach gospel to him. I told him about the Lord Jesus Christ. That except Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the end point of anybody that rejects or, or deny Jesus Christ will end up to go to the lake of fire. I just simple message. And I said, ha. Ah. And I said that okay, but do you teach? Do you I mean do you the way you put it, do you give lecture about this Jesus? I said yes. He said, please come. Find time I will come. And I said, okay, now this is the first step. We need to go to the second step. He said, What is the second step? The second step is confessing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and accepting him. And if you are ready, can we just go ahead and pray? It looks like it looks like you know there are some Chinese and we are inside one room. There is a, a room that he has already paid for. Inside that is a Chinese restaurant, but other people can see you from afar. He looked, he looks. He said, But this Jesus Christ that we are talking about, if I accept him as my Lord and Savior, that, that means that if this will come to an end or anything happen, as you said, I will, I will, get, I will make a I say yes. He now said, Okay, I'm ready. He, he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And while we are doing that, uh, the, my brother that went with me, he, he, he do the captioning. After he used uh, phone, he snap. After the everything, do you know what he said? After the everything, well, we now come back to the business with this business finish. Everybody, we're now going. After we now, he said, hey, please, hey, Mr. Daniel, there's something I want to ask you. I said, okay, what is it? He said, please, this this uh, picture or video, this caption. He said, please. Don't upload this on internet where other Chinese people will see it. I wanted to ask him that, why do you say that I should not upload it? Because I know that maybe if 
if his colleague, maybe if his colleague sees the picture, they will, I don't know what will happen to him, but he just made that assessment. But within myself, I was like, how, how will I upload it before? How will I upload You know, now, I did it, did not call me. And now, if the person that went with me, thank God that that particular brother he is a spiritual brother. He, he has understanding of relationship. Let us assume that on my behalf, the, the brother now upload the video on internet. And that particular man now see that video somewhere. He will come in and say, why did you do this? Do you know the meaning of that? Only that ass can lead him to backslide. And he can even lead him to even say that don't listen to all this pastor again. See, please, do not act foolishly. Do not act foolishly. Make sure that you act with wisdom. Any man that you are working, if God gives you a grace, and you are working with an intelligent man or someone that God has helped, take your time to study that person. Know what the person likes and know what the person dislikes. If you have an opportunity to, to discuss with the person, maybe in talking, you can just be using, to, don't just ask him that, but you talk. Make sure that you know if it is present that like okay be uploading it then you cannot start be uploading because small thing if you do small thing it can make the person the person may not tell you it will just sideline you will just draw a line please i pray that the lord will help us in jesus name we will not we will not act foolishly in the name of jesus and every destiny ever that god has prepared for us of the, our act will not send them away in the name of jesus and the last set of people here are the are lazy people the last set of people that you need to be aware of in this journey of life is lazy person lazy man lazy man proverbs chapter 22 verse 13 proverbs 32 proverbs 22 verse 13 Hallelujah. Proverbs 22, verse 13. And it says, The slothful man said, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The slothful man said, In other words, The lazy man said, there is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. Why can't you go out there? All your mates, all your mates will wake up in the morning, eight o'clock. And you, by, by, all your mates will wake up very early. Early, six o'clock, five o'clock, and get to place of work, eight o'clock. And you, by eight o'clock in the morning, you just started, uh, you just start your sleeping. Nine o'clock, you are still on bed. Why can't you do this? Because of this. Because of this. See someone talking. Why did you go out there and walk? He said, I'm afraid because there is a lion in the street. Have you even gotten there? Have you read there and seen that lion? Lazy people. If you see, if your best friend is a lazy person, if, you're, if you are a hardworking person, and your best friend, is a lazy person. Do you know what will happen? Is either two things will happen. Your actors will help that lazy person to rise, and that lazy person will also reduce you. If your work capacity that the kind of person God made made you, you are hard working. Let us rate it in a percentage. Let us assume that your hard working rate hundred percent. You can work 100%. And your best friend, your best friend is a lazy person. And his own is 30%. If you take that person as the only best friend that you have, the person will rise to 50. He, will take, he or she will take 20 out of your hundred and add it to, to his or her own. Then you will now drop to 80%. And if guess not taking, if you have another one, they will drain you to a point that you don't have anything again. Lazy people. And this set of people, they only use mouth. 
They can use mouth, finish everything. I, 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 you know, I do wash ball. Once in a while, I do wash ball. And I will watch the, the day that they will beat our team. I will say, ah, see this one, banners one-on-one. You cannot go. What kind of prayer is this? What kind of prayer is that? And you call yourself striker. Although they are collecting money for it, so they are supposed to perform. And during our con- during before our convention, they, we have a sport activities also. So I joined the, our, our brother to come and train to play ball. When I run the feed from up and down, up and down, I play after the training. Three days, I could not get up. Even, it's not that I could not get up. I, once, I, once I start up like this, my two laps, I say, hey, hey. I think as from today, I will respect this football now. I will not, I will not just talk anyhow again. But where am I going is that lazy people, they can use mouth. See, now that I know that even me, I cannot do it. Eh, it's fine. I will just, okay, that is a profession. But these lazy people, they can't do. And they will use mouth. Finish everything. Eh, eh, sir, please, I don't worry. Eh, this is job. Give it to me. I will do it. And you are looking at him that please, oh God, you don't have experience in this field. And you just told me that you are a, for example, you just told me that you are a tailor. And you said that you want to collect the construction work. Ah, sir, don't worry. I can do it. I will finish it and do everything. And the man give you the job. And before you know, you don't even know anything. If you are a hardworking person, you should go and look for a, 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 a civil engineer. Those people that know about it. Give the job to let them do it for you. Or go and let the boss. You will sit and relax. And you will not even do anything. And at the end of that day, after about the work, and you still come with mouth again. Hey, say, hey, sir. I will not feel lazy people. They will not allow you to go far in life. They are not going to anywhere. And if you listen to them, they will not allow you to go anywhere. Even in the church of God, they are there. And let us plan retreat. When are we meeting? Okay, let us plan. Ah, okay, let us plan retreat. Let us meet us also day. You will see them. Ah, they will say, okay, let us pick Monday. Ah, that Monday. You know, everybody. Yeah, let's see. The, 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 the issue is that they will not reply to themselves. They will not speak for themselves. They will be speaking for others. They will be saying that, ah, you know, on Monday, it's not for me. It's not for me. On Monday, uh, people will go to market now. Why are we saying, okay, okay, it's true. Let us do it here also. And uh, that Tuesday is the day that we do so, 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 today. And uh, okay, let us, what about Wednesday? And uh, Wednesday, they from, they from Monday to Saturday to Sunday, they will, they, they, will, they will say it's occupied. And uh, at the end of it, they will not say that, uh, you know, but let, let, let us just trust God. Let us just trust God. They are not ready to do. They will not take any responsibility for themselves. And what, before every other person talk, they are the first person that will first talk. Lazy people. Please, when you see them, don't fight them. Don't have any issue with them. Put them where they belong. There are some, there are some set of people today. Now, if I want to go, if it is not the grace of God that keep me signed, I will have not be where I am today. There are a lot of people that said, eh, brother, eh, what is the, eh, even this work of God, this work of God that you are even talking about, eh, you are in the bush every day, eh, you go for outreach, you go for outreach, your mates are in the Lagos working, what are you doing there? But I come, they use mouth and talk and talk and talk. There are some people that, when they are talking, just, you can listen to them. Okay, after they finish, say thank you. They are talking. If they are not, do not, your, the door of your heart should not open to them at all. You, will not, you should not allow it to enter. After they said whatever they want to say, just, just delete it. Allow it. Allow them to say it. Allow it to enter into a trash. A recycled bin in your heart. Because they, they are not going to anywhere. And they will not allow you to. And as we said that this year now that we should invest. Now, God will help us some of us now. I'm expecting you that you should be thinking, what should I invest? The first thing that you should start investing on, your spiritual life. And another thing that you should start investing on, because in 2024, next year, either you like it or not, only those that know their God. See, let me tell you, 2024, according to what God revealed to me, it will be a year that power will contend against power. Even this unbeliever that you are seeing, if care is not taken before you preach to them, they 
they will first be, they will tell you uh, what are you it because the, the, the anybody that want to make it they will show themselves they will anybody that want to go into the world they will go into the world deeply that it will be a matter of altar against altar we, we, we need a strong prayer to call upon the name of God to bring them out Jabi, we, they just start with Yahweh, Yahweh, that Yahweh, some of them they are not going deep. You will see, if see, then in the scripture in the Bible, when the hardship got to a starting stage, mother began to eat their children. What kind of hardship would make woman to eat it? Our own son, our own child. So, the way out is that invest in God invest in God because nobody do business with God without reward after you have God has helped you to invest in God please invest in your spiritual life your prayer altar your fasting life in 2024 if you don't have money to start business I'm telling you now start your own business like this invest in God then after that invest in your prayer life your spiritual life your spiritual life through prayer through fasting after that invest in soul winning god will reward this 2020 god will reward some set of people with their labor in see if you don't have please maybe you don't even have work but doing now you don't have work please take soul winning as a work because in 2023 i mean 2024 god will reward you because when it gets to a state that your strength has failed you then god will now reward you invest in soul winning invest in soul winning invest in soul winning and also the last one invest in relationship this is the last one please you have time now invest in strategic relationship because december is a time of almost time of party time of meeting together some of your uncle will come from you know during december at the end of the year some people will travel down from every like us then we used to travel all of us anywhere we are we come home we now celebrate december together or new year together when when god help you some of you during the Dece december you will have to get together by the grace of God. Some believers is also planning to get together. We will have to get together or in any place. You will meet a different set of people. And if God help you and give you grace to have connection with anybody, please invest in that relationship. Provided that that relationship, God deal relationship. And if it is, God will help you. It will be a strategic people. Invest in them. How would we invest in a relationship? Now. If the other, you don't have money to give you don't have money to buy you don't have money to buy for that person you don't have money to give to that person and because you are seeing that the person has everything more than you what would you now see your own part what would you now invest is what is acknowledgement 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 you cherish that relationship don't just call him to ask and ask and ask for money just call me hello sir please hello ma how are you doing how, how was that eh, how, 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 how was the journey back home when you got to hope the stress is not too much i just got to say hi how is the business how is the family thank you so much god bless you the next time you call him again i just want to check on you don't just call because you know that that person god has helped that person and the next thing is that and eh, eh, please eh, december please I just got a, if you can help me, if you can help me to pay my children's school fees, if, don't start with that. Don't start with that. See, if you start with that, the person will give you the money, but if the first time you call, is money. The second time you call, is money. The third time before you call, it will, know, it will put you, see, it, that relationship, you will just define that relationship as you just call to collect, to collect a loan. And does that mean that does that mean that it will not act for you? Is it not see there, 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 there are some set of people that have there's a particular brother. This this is instead of there, I I committed an assignment in his hand. 
that okay, please help me do this, help me do that, help me do this. And that assignment warrant that I'm supposed to give him a certain amount of money. And I asked him, okay, how much is the money? How much is it? Okay, let me, I want to give it. And do you know what the brother said? He said, sir, he said, please, uh, the way I see it, oh, I don't see that there's, uh, there's, there's no need for you to pay me any money with this. It's, it's God's work. I will take my, I, I will do it on my own. I will do this. It's God, but it's only God that will reward. Do you know that that particular person, ah, I, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe as if I said, okay, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will pray for, for that person. That's all. But in my heart, see, today I'm still thinking, if I want to give that particular brother, so I will just give you something. But tonight, what can I, God, what do you have in mind that I should do for this particular brother? Allow the person. See, I know that there are, are some times that we, there will be a need. Yes, there will be a need that seriously need that particular thing. Yes, and run around, you look everywhere. There's nobody here. Yes, you can call. You can call the person and let me understand. That, ah. Ah, my brother, this is what I'm facing now. This is what I'm facing now. This is what I'm facing now. But I'm trusting God. The Lord will have his way. God will touch his heart. No, see, nobody, I'm saying this, nobody asked me for something before. I will not give you more than what you ask for me. But if it comes out of my, from my heart, if you tell me that, ah, sir, please, my business is this, my business is that, my business is that. I, 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 there is a, I, 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 I will have compassion. Okay, I was okay. Take this. But take this and support your business. But if God himself put it in my mind that look at this particular person. Uh, look at how faithful he is, she, he or she is. And look at the, uh, uh, the, the, bis, the business. It's a child of God. Can't you? See, and I, if I call you by myself, that please, what, what do you think that you want to do for a living? I will give you more than what, what you will ask because it, it, that's how God do. God will establish you. He will give you everything. Please, invest in a relationship. Don't take, please help me check my time off. Check my time off. Invest in a relationship. Invest in a relationship. Rena Bonke, I will round up with this story. This is how God wants it today. I will let me share a story that Rena Bonke shared. How God helped in true relationship. And we know when we are talking about Nigeria today, when we are talking about crusade, as far as Renabonke at a crusade in Nigeria today, know how you will mention Renabonke. And this same Renabonke, in one of his video clips that I watched, he said the first time he entered Nigeria, he came to Nigeria, he came to the north part. When he came, he was planning program and like crusade as usual. He said, but they did not allow that crusade to hold in the north. They all those riots, they set riots, you know, all those other religions, and they want they, they cause riot, they fight, and he just finds his way to escape and he go back to his country. He said, he said that when he got back to his country and he was praying, and God and he knows that God said that it is time for Africa. It is time for Africa. He said he was praying, he was praying, go. He said he now applied for a visa to come to Nigeria. He was denied. He applied and reapplied and reapplied again. He was denied of, of visa. To come to the same real he, he was denied and denied. And he was now praying. He said, God, what happened? He said, he said, now you now you now concluded in his heart that well, fine. The, the Bible said that go ye into the world. If Nigeria uh, Africa is not limited to Nigeria alone, if Nigeria is not is not allowing that, he will go. To another place, he went to Benin, Benin Republic, the country of Benin Republic. And when he got there, he met with the president. Before he met with the president, when he got there, the hotel that he landed, he said he received a call that the president of that Benin Republic called him that ah, I've seen your your video online and I've saw your your books. I've read your books. Please come. I have to accept Jesus Christ properly. And he went. He went to meet with the, uh, the president of the Republic. And after he discussed with him, and the president and his wife accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And he now said that, sir, he now asked the president, he said, please, there's something that is bothering him. And he said, what? I don't want to cut this short because of our time. He said, it's Nigeria. He said, what happened to Nigeria? He said, he want to enter Nigeria, but they are denying him of a visa. And now said that he, now, he said he explained everything that happened to him, and and that and that president now told him that ah Nigeria, 
He said the president of Nigeria, president, the current president, is that he said he's, he's like his twin brother. They were like this too. And I said, Oh, it's your twin. Brother. He said, Yeah. And that book now said, Please help me. And I said, Don't worry, I will help you. Don't worry. And from there, he said, He come. He placed a call. And I said, Don't worry. When he got out to his country, he said, Immediately received a call from Nigeria. And hello is on the land. And he said that I, the president of Nigeria, I said, Whoa, the president of Nigeria. And he said, Yes, I, I'm Rena Bonke. I want to come to Nigeria, but I'm denying, I'm denying of a visa. Please help me out. And the president said, Tell him that, Where do you want to come? He said, Immediately. He said, Okay, be coming. And he said that immediately they sent, Nigeria president sent a flight, official flight, government from Nigeria to, to their country. Without the visa, he entered Nigeria. With relationship. Look at what happened. He knows someone that knows someone. See how relationship works. He knows someone that knows someone. Nigeria. And when he got to Nigeria, from there he meet with the president. He called the exchange number. Okay, I will come again for prayer. Let us go and plan. He back to Jami. When he got to Jami, they went to prepare for a program, a crusade that they want to do. He said, before they finish the president to come, there is a, there is a news that uh, Sonia Abasha, the president at that time, he said the, 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 the president died. Ah, he now said that when the president died, say, oh, the only president that grant me grace will come, then he has died. Nobody can say. He called number again, that's the number they gave to him. Nobody, no way how. He cannot come to Nigeria again. And visa, visa, they did not give him the visa. And he was like, oh God, what kind of devil is this? And he went to pray and pray and pray again. And he ran back to the Benin Republic and met with the president there and told asked the president, Sir, do you know the current president in Nigeria? And the Benin Republic said that, Ah, this particular person, I don't know him. Actually, I heard of him, but we don't really close like that. He said, From there, he was like, Ah. And he said that, Okay, but don't worry, I will contact one or two persons. He said that he came, look at a man of God, the same Rabonke. That, that God used mightily in Africa. He went back to Germany. He was not praying. For nine years, he was not praying about. And he said, one day, his phone rang again. Hello? And he said, who is this? He said, General, General from Nigeria. And he said, the, the that same being the president gave one of General, it was General Olusha Kobaso, just came, traveled then. Olusha Kobaso traveled back to their country. And one of the hotels that the Lord there, the Benin Republic president then now call the general, uh, the general the Olusha Kobasanjo from contact and call the longer that go to so so hotel so so name. There's one then he was not the president. He just a general, a major general, army general. And he went to meet with him. And when 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 he saw him also Olusha Kobasanjo when he saw him he said that ah general from Nigeria said ah okay you Rambok have been hearing about you have been have been. See, I've seen your clip on the on the video online, on internet. They greeted him. They said, and he asked him, "Sir, please, can you help me? I want to go to Nigeria." And he said, "Okay, if you want to go, there's no problem. Please go and apply for visa." And he said that I've applied and applied, they've denied me. And he said that what can I do? And he said that General now said that there's nothing I can do because it was, it was not the president then. He said there's nothing I can do, but if go and try, I will give you my number. He, he write another one. He, his own personal number, he writes it and he gave it to him. And he said, Just go and try. He went there, he tried again, it did not work. He said that one day, one faithful day like that, he said that on the news, and he just saw a news that same general, same general now contest for president of Nigeria. He said immediately that he saw that news. He said he went on his knees. He said, God, even for any other thing, this man must enter. He said, for his sake, oh, this man must enter as a president of Nigeria so that in Rabonke will enter into a Nigeria. He said he prayed and prayed about that, about it. And for God so good, he got the news that they declared him that he has entered as a president. He said when he saw that news that he has entered as a president, he picked his phone again and he called, General, congratulations. General also answered. Say yes, our oh, pastor is on that. Say yes, congratulations. Say you have won. Thank God. Sir. I want to come and see where can I come. And he said, You can come immediately. That how he flies second time without a visa. See, why am I sharing this? 
the power of relationship. Power of relationship. Relationship will take you where you and your generation and generation where you don't plan that you can enter before for your life. Relationship can take you there. Please maintain good relationship. Can you rest on your feet? Can you rest on your feet as you are going to pray? Just a few seconds, you are going to pray. I want you to talk to God. Father, every relationship that I've torn with, every destiny ever that I've sent away with my behaviors, oh God of mercy, let there be a restoration now. Lord, restore them, oh God. Give me second chance with them, oh God. Every relationship that I've used my character, that I've used my attitude, to send them away. Father, give me a second chance, oh God. Lord, send back to my life. Send back to my life. Send back to my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every strategic relationship, oh God. Every relationship, whosoever that will help me to get to my place of destiny is. Whosoever that will help me to get to the place of my destiny without struggle, oh God. Wherever they have, oh God. Father, connect us back once again. Father, connect us back once again. In the name of Jesus. Father, connect us back once again. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, it may even be your servants. Your destiny ever may be your servant. If no someone that knows someone that knows someone that has answered to your prayer. And because you have used eyes, you neglect him. What can you become? What do you have to offer? You have chased him away. away. But can you pray? Oh God, I ask for your mercy. Everywhere I've gone wrong, oh God. Everywhere I've gone wrong, oh God. Go chase my destiny away. Father, let there be a mercy. Restore them by mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, restore them. In the name of Jesus. And also every character in you. Pray every character in you that is chasing your destiny up by way. Every character in you that you did not count. You don't count them, but they are chasing your destiny up by way. When they look at you, they see that ah, this one can talk too much. When they look at you, they see this one can abuse too much. When they look at you, they are seeing different things. Oh God, turn away from my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, take them away. In the name of Jesus. And lastly, I want you to pray. Every agent of darkness, every agent of darkness that has, that has been appointed to make me to cry this year, for the remaining month to end this year, every agent of darkness, oh God, that has been working out to make me to cry, Father, let the hand come upon them now. Father, let the hand come upon them now. You better pray. You better don't allow issues to happen before you pray. Pray before that issue happen. Only what to go and you don't take pain. No, let the family go. No one but to go to you don't go to you don't pray. No one but to go to go to you don't pray. Only what, only what she want to wear. Father, stop them. By fire, stop them. For the remaining day to end this year. Some people are still going to have accident and they will die. Some people are still going to romance. Some people are still going to all manner of evil will see happen. But as for me and for you, as for you and for me, I mean, those evil will not happen to us. With the Lord say, we should rebuke you with our mouth. Rebuke them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Father, in the name of Jesus, every agent of darkness, whosoever that have assigned from the pit of air in order to cause you and your family to weep and to cry for the remaining days to end this year. Father, let the judgment come upon them now. In 
in the name of Jesus. Everything that they have gathered together, every source of their power, whatever they depend on as a source of power, that give them boldness to move up at them in order to make us to cry. Father, in the name that is above my Lord, the name, Lord, let the judgment come upon them in the name of Jesus. And the top of the Oshawa, you want to cook or do it or party? All you want to go for one and share it. Don't wait, that don't be no. Don't you have it? Don't back our lap. You are looking at Jesus, you are looking at your body. Those that vow that they will not sleep, neither will they drink until they see us crying. Father, let the judgment come upon them. And so shall it be. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Lord, you can do more. Let's clap our hands for that powerful message. Let's clap our hands for that glorious message. I want us to stretch our hands and bless the servant of God that God should increase him spiritually, physically, and mentally. That God should empower him more and more. That God should release more vessels, more vessels, more anointing as he's releasing. That God will empower him born her more. Thank you, everlasting God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Now it is offering time. Want us bring out our offering. Bring out our offering. So I want our choir to give us a beautiful song. Bring out our offering. As I was be going around to collect it. Hallelujah. Amen. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Can we please have our seats? Please, if you are watching us for the first time, please, we want to welcome you 
to our marvelous, our glorious, wonderful vineyard. Can you please come out? Because this is your first time of entry to this beautiful place, a place of blessing, a place of healing, a place of perfection. Please come out. can just wait behind, can sit down there. We'll see you after the service. Somebody will meet with you and share. Okay, ma, wait, wait, ma, wait, ma, please, man. Let us pray, man. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for our lovely mother, our lovely brother that you have added unto us. That we say be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that today that they have set their feet upon this auditorium, O oh God. Lord, I pray everything that they lay their hands upon, let it be prosper in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them, Lord, I pray that you should reveal yourself to them more and more in Jesus. That they will know you and know you better in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that Anytime that they call on your name, Jesus, for help, that they grant it in the name of Jesus. As from today, you will be, you will have a testimony that Jesus Christ is the Lord in the name of Jesus. And this week, as going into this week, I pray for you. God will hope for you in the name of Jesus. Help us locate you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open your understanding and you begin to know Jesus more and more in the name of Jesus. As for you and your households, you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. You can sit down there by the left hand side. So they attend to you after the service. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Announcement time. Um, every Sunday we do meet here by 4.30 p.m. And Wednesday, now we began our Bible school uh, studies. So every Wednesday by 5 to 8, we meet here on leadership, how to be a leader, how to be a good, uh, uh, how to show good leadership skills or abilities. So by 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Wednesday, we do gather here for leadership training. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I know that this season is a season of Christmas. So the church, the God's vineyard, is organizing Christmas carol. Our hands together, our hands together, our hands together. So it is it will come up on the 23rd of this month. On the what? 23rd like on Saturday by 5 p.m. Please be available. It's Christmas carol to be marvelous, to be impactful and honorable. So please, by 5 p.m. on Saturday this month, we are having our Christmas carol. So please, all workers should wait for a brief meeting later after this service. Please, all workers, please wait behind for just a brief meeting. And God bless you. A family song. A family song. Yeah, for now, yeah. Walk us with behind by the uh, right hand side. Little like service. You're having a brief meeting. All workers must be present. Uh, let's stand up and let's stand up. Let's stand, let's stand up. Let's stand up. We are soldiers of Christ. Let's stand up on our feet. Soldiers of Christ. 
to just Christ. Let's stand up. Come on. 
Jesus' name. Amen. 